All right, so tonight's lesson is lesson 110, and we are um, doing, we're practicing multiplying decimal numbers and using zeros as placeholders. Uh, we kind of did a lesson very similar to this yesterday, um, but we're going to do it a little bit different today. And again, it's probably going to be one of our shorter videos that we have had this year, which I know you guys like. Okay, when we multiply decimal numbers, we follow the rule, multiply, so we multiply the numbers, and then count how many places there are behind the decimal, po the decimal point, and then add that to our answer. Um, uh, so what we're going to do now is when we count how many places we need to move, but we run out of digits. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Okay, so um, if we were to do this problem right here, okay, so I have one behind the decimal point and then one behind the decimal point. So I need to move my decimal point two times. So I'm going to do this problem three times three, nine, and then three times zero, and I really don't have anything left. So you would do this problem right away and I would have three times three is nine. But we need to place our decimal point. What we know is that we have to move it two times. One, one, and then two in my decimal point. So what I have to place before the nine is a zero. And that's kind of like our placeholder saying we have zero tenths, but we have nine hundredths. So we have to place a zero. So when you move your decimal point, and you kind of run out of numbers or digits, you have to put a zero where that uh, digit should go. So your answer should be nine hundredths. We'll talk about tomorrow why this makes sense and why this works. But right now we're going to learn how to do the math part of it. Okay, so I'm going to set up the next one. And I have twelve hundredths times three tenths. Okay. 3 times 2, 6, 3 times 1, 3, and then I'm going to count now how many places I have behind. I have 2 here, 1 here behind my decimal point, so I have to move my decimal point 3 times. 1, 2, 3, so I have to fill my placeholder with a 0, zero. so my answer would be 36 thousandths. Don't forget, when you move your decimal point and you move them past all your numbers that you have, you have to fill it with that zero. All right, and we're going to do the next two, and then you have your lesson practice. Okay, so I'm going to start. 3 times 5, 15. 3 times 2, 6 plus 1, 7. And I have 1, 2 here, 1 behind my decimal point here. So I have to move it 3 times. 1, 2, 3. So my answer is 75 thousandths. All right, for the next one, let's try this. I already know I have to move it two times. One, two, one, two. So a grand total of four I'm going to be moving. Two times two is four. Two times one is two. Drop my zero. One times two is two. One times one is one. Go ahead and add. And I'm not multiplying my zero because I know that equals zero. Um, so I'm really just sticking with, and you know, sometimes when you will multiply decimals, you might not even have your zeros there when you multiply, so you're just multiplying your decimals. Okay, so now I'm going to add 4, 4, and 1, and I have to move my decimal 4 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, and I have 144 ten thousandths. And there's my answer. Alright, here's your lesson practice. Go ahead. And we will check them at school tomorrow.